is uh, the um, circuitry that is located within its basic boundary scan cell. After watching this uh, presentation you will be able to explain how this uh, cell topology is able to enable you to control and to observe what happens in any functional pin and you will also be able to explain why these cells have uh, very little or no importance at all during uh, a runtime operation of the system. So as you can see here, each uh, basic boundary scan cell comprises um, four main terminals, uh, one parallel input and one parallel output, and this will be the parallel path and uh, they also comprise one serial input and one serial output and these make up the serial path through the uh, boundary of the integrated circuit. Now uh, you will see that each of these cells uh, work exactly in the same way inside each integrated circuit. So uh, you may have cells operating differently from one circuit to another, but within each integrated circuit all cells will operate in the same manner. Uh, you also see here that each uh, basic boundary scan cell circuitry comprises two multiplexers and two uh, memory elements. And um, I will show you how these four elements combine to ensure these uh, three modes of operation. So the first mode is uh, the so-called transparency mode and this is uh, how the cells are connected during normal system operation. So when you power up the board, all cells will behave in transparent mode and everything will happen as if there was no boundary scan infrastructure present. This is the uh, regular circuit operating mode. You can, however, set the cells to the so-called control mode or um, test mode, as it is also called, and uh, you do so by uh, switching the right multiplexer to its lower input. If you do so, you will isolate the parallel input from the parallel output. And what this means is that you have isolated the pin from the core logic. And this will happen in every pin of the circuit, regardless of uh, being an input pin or an output pin. Now, when you have the boundary scan cells operating in controllability or test mode, the output of the cell will drive what is to its right. It could be the core logic or it could be an output pin. While the cells are in controllability mode, uh, the uh, leftmost multiplexer may operate as shown at this moment or in this other way. When it operates in this mode you are capturing what comes from the parallel input into this memory element. On the other hand when you switch it to the lower input you will be capturing what comes from the serial input so you will be shifting through the serial path and this is why this memory element is called capture and shift and this is known as the capture and shift stage while this is known as the latch stage because it will latch the value that is driven to the parallel output of the cell when you set up the controllability mode. Well, this is actually the uh, uh, sequence of um, operations that takes place during normal board test because you will use the uh, boundary scan cells to isolate the pins from the core logic, you will drive uh, test vectors to the output pins and then you will alternate between capturing what arrives at the uh, input pins and uh, um, shifting out the uh, test responses and at the same time shifting in a new test vector. So you will alternate between capture and shift and capture and shift while um, you are testing the board. The third uh, operating mode is called observability and in this case the cell again works in transparent mode. 
However, uh, besides enabling the regular circuit operation, while the cell is in observability mode, you will uh, still be able to control what happens with the leftmost multiplexer. That is to say, you may have it in capture or in shift mode, and you may alternate between capture and shift. And this means that you will be able to um, capture what is present at every pin in the circuit, at a certain point during the regular circuit operation and then shift out what is uh, what may be seen as a photograph taken from the circuit at that moment so you take a photograph and you shift it out you take another photograph and you shift it out and so on and this actually enables you to make a movie that is to say you could draw the sequence of logic values that were captured in every pin and this actually enables you to build what is a, a logic analyzer and some logic analyzers uh, will work in this way